One. This is the final review for the Venom Creeper Crawler. Um, pretty neat kit. Um, it's about good for anyone. Not good for beginners, I wouldn't say, actually. I take that. They're good for intermediate and above. Um, I think on my scale of what's good and what's bad, um, I'd probably give it a B. Or, uh, I'd give it a B plus, actually. I'd give it, uh, I'll give it that. But um, let's take the hood off. Let's see what she looks like. Um, here's the box for it. Um, it's a pretty compact little small box, but I still have that. Um, here's the car. Uh, right now it is waterproof, so everything looks kind of ugly. This battery looks ugly. It all looks pretty ugly because it's all got some black plastic dip on it. But um, very cool crawler. But, um, <coughs> um, sorry. We'll get into positives real quick. Um. Positives. This thing works well with a brushed or a brushless motor. Um, the first system I had in it was a VXL, which is actually pretty weird because it was really fast. But actually, it would do good on the rocks. It had a lot of torque to it for a um, VXL. But um, and then I put this brush system in it. It works. It seems to work a little bit better, but still works good. Um, another positive is. The articulation, it says 70 on the box, but that's with a standard 25 weight oil. I decided to put 45 in the rear and 30 up front, so that gives me about 25, 35, 45. Uh, yeah. I'd say about 45 articulation right there, and up here it gives me more about 55, 65. But that's very really cool. Um, it can really get over some stuff, but we're going to get into the negatives now. Those were my only two positives I really had about this kit. That and the body style. I really like this way its body's built. It rolls over nicely and it'll put you back on your wheels. So that's that's about the last positive. Negatives. Okay, these are a lot, so. Not like I'm dumbing down on video, Venom or anything. Cool cr crawler. If you if you own one, it's a good one. If you build it, you could probably build it a little bit better than me. I didn't have the exact right tools for the time, but I have those tools now, so that's how I finished building it. But anyway, it takes a while to build. Um, it The screws and stuff are cheap. I've stripped, I'm trying to assemble differentials, the biggest pain in the ass I've ever had. It took me a week just to do the front and rear differentials because the screws, screws kept stripping. I had to push them down in there. It was just horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Um, cheap screws is not good. Um, another negative is it's really a high-centered car. Um, the center of gravity is way up high. I mean, your, your transmission's up here. Your motor's up at the top. Um... Your ESC is up high and your battery is mounted up high, so it really likes to tip and roll over a lot. Um, another negative is if you don't read up among crawlers and you just buy this kit, put the tires on there, and run it like it is, these tires don't deform very good. These tires do not do that stock. You, what you need to do if you get this kit is get a Dremel and find a nice place to put a hole. I'll put one on every tire in here and put a big old hole. So they can re they can react a lot faster. Um, um, another negative is this does have plastic gears. Not bad, but I would much rather like metal for a crawler. <coughs> that would worked a lot better. Um, another negative is their design. The, the way they're designed is on the CBDs. It's it's this the worst design I've seen ever um the way it does is there a pin and it goes through there's a cup your little cup right here that pin goes through the top and goes through the joint that goes into the drive shaft okay um where the pin goes through it tends to slide around and get bent and pop out and you know, this pin will stick up at top and when your car drives they'll get stuck on this little c, c hub right here 
and it'll crack the C-Hub. I have two cracked. Both in the front are cracked right now. That's why I got a zipped up tie on that one. I cracked that one actually yesterday. So the pin will come out and it'll crack because they keep just this really horrible design. I really, they should really go back and redo that totally. Just totally, totally, totally redo it. It's a horrible design. It has been mm, just not good at all. But, um, I was going to buy the short course truck, but they have the same design in their TVDs. And because of that, I would not, I was not going to buy it. I had to change my mind. Came close, though. But, um, so, it's hard to build. Bad CVD design. Um, another negative would be your tires. Now, not that they don't deflate and stuff, but just the total tread design on this. If you live somewhere where you have smooth rocks or you live coastal areas like that, you're not going to be able to drive this truck very good. You're going to have to get new tires. Um, probably some of those Panthers. I've seen those in person the other day and they were pretty nice. Some ones that Squirrel talks about, they are pretty nice tires. But these are just... These are only good for very high grip rocks. As you see, they have a lot of surface area. Not going, they're not very soft. Just not good for any coastal areas. They should have made a more generic all around tire, I think. It would have been a lot better. Um, um, another negative is if you're going to put a receiver in there, it doesn't take all receivers. Usually, you're supposed to mount it back here or up here somewhere on the side. I have a Traxxas receiver didn't fit, so what I had to do was I had to strap it on up front, and I thought it might work better too. Um, another big negative is these little pins that hold these drive shafts. They pop out. I've had all four of them pop out, so I replaced them with nails. I just cut the ends off the nails and squeezed them down on there. Um, another negative is where the drive shafts connect to the differential output and the uh, transmission output. It tends to slip off. And these little, they don't stay on there. It's just like a, um, these little, there's not a hole to go through it. Just, just a set pin that just sits down on it. Kind of like a pinion gear. Um, but that much torque, it likes to rip it some. So I had to put super glue on there. And still, I've broke just where the super glue was twice. Um, another negative is when you're crawling up a rock, this big part right here, or even this aluminum sometimes, I've, but it's mostly that little bumper. It doesn't. It doesn't like to go. Um, I think if the tires were a little bit taller, had a little bit more rod height to it. Taller tires would definitely help. Um, I'm actually looking at getting some Proline chisels or some hammers for this truck. I think I want to get the chisels because they're quite a bit taller. It'll raise me off the ground a little bit too. But um, that's just about all the negatives for this truck. Um, shocks work great. That's actually, I'd give those a positive. That's going to be another positive for this. Shocks are fantastic on this truck. Um, easy to build. They don't leak. Good shocks. So, but that's, um, that's about it. It may sound like a really, really bad crawler, but I'm sure if you bought it, if you're a beginner, don't buy it. I suggest you just get a ready to run crawler, like the Axial or the Night Crawler, something of that. Kind of cheap, basic, but get something ready to run. But if you're intermediate or a good guy that knows how to build kits, get this. It You could probably build it better than me. It wouldn't take you as long. And you probably know what you're doing a little bit more. It's my first crawler. But from what I've seen to this truck, I don't like it really. Thinking about selling it, but since um, I do like it, I do like crawling. It's actually something I like. Um, I'm going to keep it. Maybe for a little while longer. Get it. Make it better. Make it a better car. Put a better system in it. Better tires. Probably some rims. Weight it. And better batteries and everything. Um, but for right now, not... Just, eh. It gets a B. I wouldn't say B plus anymore. I'd say a B. But that's it. Thanks for watching, you guys. Um, Tractor 61. Have a good one.